your ball comes to rest in the greenside bunker, and the truth is, you're scared to death because you got no idea what to do. Well, the good news is, is you've come to the right place because today we're talking about three mistakes, three mistakes you're probably making, but better yet, three ways to fix it and start to improve your greenside bunker play. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And this shot right here, the greenside bunker shot, puts the fear of God in a lot of golfers. But the truth of the matter is, folks, it's not that difficult of a shot if you understand a couple concepts, and that's what we're gonna dive into right here today. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and be sure to leave a comment. If you have a question specifically on how to hit a greenside bunker shot, let me know. I do my best to answer all of those questions and all those comments, but also if you have an idea of maybe a tip that helped you with your greenside bunkers, Share it with us because you might be able to help not only me, but also our fellow viewers who are watching this video. Now, let's dive right into this. So, first of all, mistake number one that I see a lot of golfers make when it comes to a greenside bunker shot is poor ball position. All right, they typically have the ball too far back in their stance. So they'll get set in there and they'll have the ball back in their stance, maybe middle to slightly back. This is a common mistake that in all truth of the matter is, makes the shot almost impossible. So, more importantly, where do you want the ball? Well, I've got my short game training aid right here, okay, the Rhymer, I love this thing because I've already did a couple videos with this on putting, I've done some stuff on chipping. It's a simple training aid, but it works because it does the most important thing, helps you understand where the ball should be. So, I've got it set right in here, and what I've done is I've just put the arrow right here a little bit forward of center. So I'm gonna put the ball, and I'm gonna match it, so it's right in line there because I want the ball to be positioned slightly forward of center when I'm set in here. So I've got it down my feet right here about, you know, this width apart, the same width as the Rhymer right there. The ball is slightly forward. I'm set in there and I'm just going to go ahead and hit the shot. Okay, ball pops out. Fantastic. Believe it or not, that actually finished pretty close to the cup on my first try. But having the ball in the right spot is number one. That's the common mistake I see people make to make it too far back. You want that ball positioned slightly forward of center. That'll allow you to get the ball up in the air and hit a quality shot. Now, all right, the second mistake, the second mistake that I see a lot of golfers make is they make a swing that's just too short. And I don't know, I think they do that. My in inclination is they do that because they're afraid they're gonna hit the ball. Now at the end here, I'm gonna talk about a simple tip that you can do on the golf course that ties all this together and specifically is gonna eliminate the second fault of this really short swing. So be sure to stick around for that. But they make this swing that's just too short. All right, so they get set in here and maybe they got a lot of things correct, but their swing is really short and the ball just stays in the bunker because they're afraid to swing the club. When you hit a good greenside bunker shot, that swing, I'm telling you folks, I'm gonna move this up a little bit so I got the ball in the right spot. That should be a pretty big swing. I mean, so go ahead, I'm gonna hit the shot here. All right, I got the ball in the right spot. We've already talked about that, tip number one. I'm gonna make a pretty big swing. So I'm set in here. Okay, notice the length of that swing? That was pretty long. So that would be tip number two, is you gotta make a big swing, all right? If you make this little swing and you just try to pick the ball out of there, you got disaster written all over that. All right, now, let's talk about mistake number three. This is the most common one that I see, and it has to do with where the weight is on the feet. I like to call it pressure on the feet. I've done a ton of videos on pressure movement. You should check those out if you haven't already because I'm a huge believer in understanding how the pressure moves on the feet. It's a big thing in golf and it's not talked about a lot. And even in a greenside bunker shot, it's important. So what's the mistake that you might be making? Well, you get set in there and you want to get the ball up in the air, right? So what do you do? You either start with your weight on your back foot and you stay there, okay, and you lift up, look something like this. You start back and you just hit the ball, boom, right into the lip because your pressure is moving back. The other mistake that I see a lot of people make is that maybe they start out pretty good, okay, but then through the motion, they move backwards. Looks like this. They start here and they move backwards. Now, what do you want to be doing? Well, here's what you want to be doing. You want to start with most of your weight, most of the pressure on your feet, on your lead foot, right? probably 80%, right? Get it over there and make sure it stays there. It's gotta stay there through the whole motion. So I'm set in here, I got the good ball position, right? I'm gonna put a big swing on it. Pressure's left, stays left. Boom, ball pops right out of there. 
comes out nice, high, and soft. So those are the three things that I see that are the most common. Now, if you got some ideas on that, or maybe you agree or disagree, don't be afraid to put that in there because I love some of the batter that goes back and forth. Now, I promised you here at the end, I want to give you what are you going to do? Go to the golf course, right? Ball's in the bunker, you got to have one thought. So here's what it's going to be. This is the tip that works every single time. I call it the dollar bill drill. Now, depending upon if you're playing a tournament, <laughs> you can't really touch the sand and do this in a tournament. But I don't know what type, you know, maybe if you're just playing with your buddies, they'll let you do that. But you get the idea. I visualize a dollar bill down here, kind of like a box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that dollar bill. I'm going to take that box of sand and I'm going to throw it out onto the green. So I set in here, I'm visualizing this box around the ball. I've got my weight left, ball's in the right spot. I'm going to make a nice big swing and I'm going to throw that box out onto the green. And when I do that, the fear of the bunker shot goes away. So these couple tips, the dollar bill to tie it together, are gonna take the fear out of the bunker shot and help you start playing better golf.